Hello, hello, Marcelo. Good evening. How are you, sir? Hello, good evening. Teacher. Welcome, welcome back to your English class. Uh, were you able to finish all the sections that are on the platform? Yes, teacher. You already I have your, Do you have your certificate? Mm, not yet. Oh, okay, then maybe tomorrow you will have your certificate. I guess. <laughs> Uh, they told me that if you go to reset, then you can have your certificate. Why don't you try it right now? Okay, let me check. Yes. yes. Remember that we are already, already, already asking for the asking documentation. For the Hello, hello, Evelyn. How are you? Did you have your? Do you have your certificate? Hello. Uh, not yet, but I think that, uh, that I is in the platform. Can you check but right for now? Me, it, it, it's really important. <laughs> are you finished? Are you finished with the course? I will check. Yeah. You, okay. Yes, teacher. I, I have it. I haven't. You got it. Yes, I got it. All right. Can you take a picture and send it to the WhatsApp group or scan it and send it to the WhatsApp group? Okay. Give me a few minutes. Thank you. Do you have it? Do you have it, Evelyn? So there you say. I received your message in WhatsApp. Okay. Okay, so today we're going to do a, um, a speaking activity. All right, mm -hmm. since we already finished everything that we were looking at on the platform. So we're going to be looking at a speaking activity. I'm going to share with you uh, some questions and we're going to go ahead and conversate and practice those questions. I'm gonna send them to the to the WhatsApp chat. Okay. You got it? Conversate. Yes, I got it. Practice. Okay. okay. Hi, Nidia. Hi, Nidia. How are you? Welcome. Welcome, Nidia. How are you? Welcome. Hello, Nidia. Can you hear me? Hello, Nidia. Uh, Marcelo, Evelyn, can you hear me? Yes, yeah. sir. Okay, maybe Nidia cannot hear us. All right, so we're going to be look. Can you hear us, Nidia? Nidia. You can hear? Yeah, Microsoft is soft. Oh, okay. Welcome back, Nidia. Welcome. Uh, right now, we're going to do a conversation practice. The topic is going to be referring to hobbies. Hobbies. Repeat after me, please. What <laughs> is your hobby? What, what is, your, is hobby? your hobby? How long have you had a hobby? How long have you had a hobby? How long have you had a hobby? Why do people have hobbies? Why do people have hobbies? Why do people have hobbies? Why did you start your hobby? Why, Why did you start, start your hobby? 
Can you make money from doing your hobby? Can you make money from doing your hobby? Can you make, make money, money from, from, from doing hobby? Your, your hobby? How many hours a week do you spend on your hobby? How many, how how many, many hours, hours a week, week, week do, you spend on your hobby? do you spend on your hobby? Is your hobby safe or dangerous? Is, is your, your hobby, hobby, is safe hobby safe or dangerous? Or dangerous? What is a hobby? What, what is, is a, hobby? a hobby? Why do people need hobbies? Why do people need Why hobbies? Why do people need hobbies? Why do people need hobbies? Why do people, Why do people need hobbies? What can one do as a hobby? What can one do as a hobby? How much time can one spend on his or her hobby? How much time can one spend on his or her hobby? What is your hobby? What is your hobby? Is your hobby? Does your hobby interfere with your work, study, or personal life? Does your hobby interfere with your work, study, personal life? Do you spend money on your hobby? Do you spend money on your hobby? Does your hobby influence your choice of friends? Does your hobby influence your choice of friends? Can a hobby save a child from bad peer influence? Can a hobby save a, a child from bad, bad peer, bad peer influence? influence? Can a hobby be dangerous? Can a hobby, Can a hobby be, be dangerous? dangerous? Have you got a hobby? Have you, have got, you a hobby? got a hobby? How long have you had your hobby? How long have you had your hobby? All right. At this moment, does anybody have any questions referring to this vocabulary in the questions? Questions about the questions? Anybody? Yes, I don't understand. Does your English do your hobby child of Ah. Ah, can you can uh, can a hobby save a child from bad peer influence? Okay. I don't understand. Okay. Peer. okay. Uh, so that one is referring to uh, puede un hobby salvar a un niño de una mala influencia de ni de otros niños de su misma edad. Peer influence is like influence from somebody your age. Uh, mm -hmm. Right, for example, yeah. remember when you were in high school, for example, eh, in high school, students normally start eh, smoking cigarettes, drinking, you know, and then the other kids, they say, oh, that's cool. So it's like mm -hmm. peer pressure. Pressure from mm -hmm. your 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 the people that are your age. Okay. For example, okay. in my case, um, I can say that when I was in elementary school, I was raised in Houston, Texas. By the way, I don't know if I told you, but yes. um, okay. When I was in elementary school, I was probably what six, seven, nine, ten years old. And I remember that there was a program called D.A.R.E. D.A.R.E. D-A-R-E. And I remember mm -hmm. that we had a literacy program that we had to read a book. And then after you read the book, you have to write a book report. And then you had to give the book report to the teacher. And then uh, you would accumulate stars every time that you made a, a read a book and made a book report, the teacher would give you a star. So after you had five stars, or after you had read five books, she would give us um, a coupon. Every student 
that had read five books and finished five book reports, they would give us a coupon where we could go to Pizza Hut and they would give mm -hmm. us a personal pan pizza, a soda, a toy, and a dessert. If with, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, and they would take a picture and they would give you like a little ribbon. So you said first place or top reader or something like that. So I remember this was something cool for, for uh, at that age, when I was like 10 years old, that was considered like cool. Right, because on Friday, everybody wanted to go and hang out at the Pizza Hut, you know, get their pizza, get a ribbon, get a toy. So it was like the cool kids, you know, if you didn't read your books and you didn't have your coupon, oh, you, everybody was like, oh, that's not a cool kid. You know, you're not <laughs> cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. And this was a hobby that reading was a hobby that helped me to not get involved with gangs or violence in my community because mm. remember my family were immigrants we you know we were poor salvadorian people uh, my grandfather my grandmother you know uh, i was i studied in the public school district thank god that i received um, some of the best education in houston because i was able to go to some of the best schools but uh, wherever I lived, there was always uh, crime, gang, violence, domestic violence, uh, many things that, you know, a, a young boy can always fall into those traps. Mm -hmm. All right, can somebody ask me another question? Somebody ask me another question? No, ah, teacher. Marcelo, ask me a question. Uh, about the... This question. Whatever question okay. right here. Uh, what is your hobby? Uh, well, my number one hobby, the thing that I really, really love to do is weightlifting. I love to go to the gym and lift weights, uh, do cardio, lift heavy. Uh, that's one of my hobbies, one of my big hobbies. Uh, another hobby that I have is painting. I have a I have a paint studio in my house, so I like to paint. I like to draw, color. Uh, I like to do puzzles, for example. Uh, word le uh, letter soup I like to do that letter soup and I like to do uh, a color different images uh, another hobby that I have is reading I love to read I, I read every day thank God that we're on quarantine I have time to read so I have several hobbies All right, so right now I'm going to put you in pairs and I would like for you to discuss the questions about yourself. Ready? Let's go. Evelyn is going to work with Freddie and Marcelo with Nidia. Does everybody have the questions? Yes. Yes. All right, let's go.
tomorrow uh, it will be a new season, right? Yeah, yeah. Nice, interesting. Four season. Well, my uh -huh. hobby, maybe I love to listen to music. Um, uh -huh. Well, in these days, I start to watch series too. Maybe just have like three days, but I like it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, Which hmm. series? Elite. <laughs> ah, yeah. Yeah, but I start, but I, I didn't continue. <laughs> right now I'm finished the season two and I just have three days. Really? <laughs> okay. Well I watched the orange is the new black. Oh but I just some, some episode, episode. Yes. No complete. Well, I just finished, for example, uh, Pretty, Pretty Little Liars, um, mm -hmm. Física o Química, Juegos de Poder, and Elite. Mm -hmm. Well, Elite, no yet, but I hope so. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, uh, if you start a series, you finish the, the series. Um, I try to do it, but it's okay. not always. Because, for example, uh -huh. Dynasty is other, but uh, maybe I left in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My father, my father doesn't like uh, watch uh, series or movies, but he likes uh, watch a uh, football and something like that. But um, in these days. He is watching The Crown. Oh, The Crown. Yeah. Nice. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I just uh -huh. watched the trailer and I think that is interesting. Really? Yes. Okay, Evelyn, the next question. How long have you had a hobby? Um, the makeup? Maybe five years ago. Mm -hmm. And I sleep all my life. <laughs> 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 no, since I, uh, I took my pills every night for the migraine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, in my... In my, uh, I just remember. Okay, well, the, my hobby to listen to music, maybe mm -hmm. since I am 10 years old. Mm -hmm. And what, 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 what kind of music do you like? Uh, just, for example, pop and English, electronic, um, mm -hmm. rock and roll. Mm -hmm. But maybe the ninety percent is on English. Mm. English why, but it's more easy for, for me to um, learn. It's easier. Yeah, sorry, sorry, thank you. It's easier for me to mm -hmm. learn the lyrics mm -hmm. in English, but in Spanish, I don't remember. <laughs> I prefer uh. parts, but I prefer English music. Me too. I like uh, the pronunciation of some uh, singers, like, for example, Dua Lipa. Oh, yeah. I like her pronunciation. Yes, likewise. Well, mm. that I have is to watch some videos about criminal cases. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I had like the like this channel investigation discovery. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. Yes, and YouTube too. Oh, okay. 
The next question. Why do people have hobbies? Well, maybe I think that the hobby uh, is a good activity, activity to take advantage in your free time. Mm -hmm. And don't feel bored, for example, uh, mm -hmm. in these moments in the, in the quarantine. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe everybody feels uh, bored because we don't know what we can, we can do to enjoy the time in house. I think. Mm -hmm. What do you think about it? Um, I think um, one of the main reason is to uh, thrillers, not uh, scary, like uh, about the the assassination of um, JFK. Mm -hmm. It's 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 good too and. Uh, have you seen uh, the Green Mile a uh, movie that is called The Green Mile mm -hmm. with Tom Hanks? Yes. That's uh, based on a book of him. Oh. Yes. So you know it's that the uh, the themes that he he used to to write about. Okay. I really, I really liked him, and he has a lot of books. Some of them, I don't like them a lot, like the dome, or I don't remember the, the name of the other one. The mist, I don't like the like. The mist. The mist, I don't like that book. But yeah. another one yeah, I like. Yeah, a, a movie like too. I, yeah. I hate the movie. Yes, Call yes. It the mist. Yes, it's, it's based on a book of him. Ah, uh, okay. Another movie is uh, another yes, it's a movie uh, or a serial. I don't remember. It's um, the storm of the century. Mm. It was written as a, as a script for a movie, really, and it's okay. very interesting too. I I I don't know how. One of the books of him is my favorite one. <laughs> he has you a, lot. a lot of. Yes, he has a lot of books, and I have a. Ah, the last one. They have a. Oh. Cemetery. Yes, the pet cemetery. It's like pet cemetery. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting too. What is the drama? What is the, the main theme about it? that book? It's about there is a, a cemetery for pets, really, but it's like a, like Indian. I like I don't like to say Indian, but the yes, the Indian people of that area, and there is like a magic. Thing that makes the animals that you bury, bury there mm -hmm. get alive again, but uh, with uh, weirdness things. Mm -hmm. They get violent, and the uh, and the uh, the principal thing the thing is is a pet cemetery. Let me check. I don't know if it's in best. In best. It is to invest. Okay. Right now we are investing. <laughs> in some days or in some months, Evelyn, YouTuber, with makeup tutorials. <laughs> Hello? Hello?
Hello. Hey, I don't know what happened to um, Evelyn. Hey, you estaba Evelyn. Freddy, Evelyn? Oh. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. 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 Hey, what's up? You get uh, uh, mm -hmm. new energy. And when you read, you go to another places, another times, and you get out of this of this reality. I think. Yes, it's true. Yes. It's true. People needs most when the people have uh, a lot of stress in a, in a work, yes. in a job, in in a, in a work in a people's with in a work. Work to people need to to have hobbies to distract to relax. Yes, yes. And what do you say, Robert? What do you think about which question? About why people have hobbies. Well, more most of the people have hobbies in order to reduce their stress because if. If you have just not interact with a lot of people on these years, there's a lot of people with a lot of stress, but that is caused due to, to, due to the type of job that they do every day. I mean, you, you're, you're not going to be able to compare the stress that, that a doctor has than, with the stress that, that an accountant has. It's completely different. Yes. Even yeah. in this country, the, there will be just like uh, different times of the years when even the accountant, the account, it's just like more stress even than the medic. That is when the companies has to present their their tax declaration. In these days, it's it's too. Todo lo contrario, because yeah, 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 it's completely <laughs> different. Mm, yes. Okay. And um, oh my goodness, wait, why did you start your hobby? Hmm. In this case, why did I start? My my hobby. Well, I started your my, hobby, Robert. Uh, I have a lot of hobbies. One of them is to listen to music. Another one will be to study languages. Just like I'm studying at this moment, uh, let's say that I'm studying English and as well I'm studying Japanese. But I take that as a hobby since it helps me to distract my mind of all the issues and all the difficulties that I have uh, at my job. That's the reason why I have started with a, with, with a hobby. Okay. And you, Marcelo? And why? Why did you start your hobby? Yeah, in my case, uh, for example, my hobby is play soccer. I practice uh, uh, soccer with my friends when I was a child to to distract to to do exercise and for the time pass uh, the the soccer combine the chain to to a hobby and I practice more and more and more and I start to to read to learn more to distract that one and you Nidia okay I I have told you about my childhood when my my neighbor gave us books as a present for Christmas and birthdays. So I I learned to value a book. And because my father was a language teacher, so I I have a good example of reading. And about the exercising in it was because I, it's because I need to uh, take care of my health or my heart, my circulation system, even my skin because I have a, a, a kind of fungus 
a stress fungus in my face. So if I have too stressed, my face get very crackly. So I I have to to do many things to be the less stress that I can. Okay. 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 Can you make money from doing your hobby? <laughs> the soccer one can. Yes. Yes. If you are cracked, really. <laughs> when when you was a, a child, you believe that you you may be to do a crack or, or or play in a in a big in a big club or something like that. But just dreamers. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. And for example, the the like the teacher hobby, it's painting or something. It's paint. People do money for paint a, 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 a beautiful image or. Yes. Or, mm -hmm. It's a different kind of hobby, and maybe you make money with your with that hobby. Yes. And you, Robert? Well, in my case, I will be only able to get money from that hobby only if I become a certified interpreter in post languages. Okay. Okay, I, I also will make money of my hobby of reading. Uh, if I, like say, Robert, I translate some book from a, some author, I don't remember the name of the site, Babylon, Babylon, where you can um, subscribe and they send you books if you want to translate them and you make money. Oh, that. Yes, but they are, uh, there are books uh, really unknown. Uh, of authors that are not really famous, but I think it's a it's a good opportunity if you have the time, of course. Yes. Okay. Is your hobby? I don't know how many hours a week do you spend on your hobby? Mm. Um. I. Uh, for reading, I think it's about five, seven hours because it's almost an hour every day. And for exercising, it's about 14, 14 hours in a week. Just in classes, I spend just like eight hours and studying for those classes, let's say that I spend two hours for each language, I spend just like 12 hours a week. Okay, okay. in my case, I spend around three or four or four hours per week to, to play in soccer because I in in these weeks, I spend uh, no no time to 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 play because the pandemic <laughs> and the quarantine and Hi. quarantine and for it, I spend around five or four hours. I, I try to to spend one one hour per day. Okay, that's good. Okay. And. Is your hobby safe or dangerous? Mm -hmm. My hobbies are very safe. Sometimes after reading is not dangerous. Mm -hmm. At least you read a book of Stephen King that makes you have nightmares. And uh, doing exercise, the danger is that I can do a bad movement and it gets me a about back pain or something like that, but dangerous, dangerous, I think they are not really. 
Well, in my case, it depends because if you're talking with someone from that has a lot of more experience with the other language and you try to use a word and you don't use it uh, the proper way, you can insult them. So that can lead to a misunderstanding. So it can be just like a little bit dangerous. Yes. Yes. In my case, just to play soccer, <laughs> it's a little bit dangerous, but it, it dangerous. depends, could yes. be, maybe. It, it depends be. that, that the other team had a, a fighter, a fighter <laughs> people or, 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 or that. Really aggressive players, you, know, you mean? Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, in my workplace, we have a championship. Puppy football. Ah, oh, okay. About two or three every every year, but they take it so hard that every time it's always someone with a uh, break bone. <laughs> yes, it's really. It's, yes, it is. It's, it's more than Real Madrid against Barcelona. It's <laughs> awful. Sometimes uh, a guy was uh, with a fracture in the leg, and he he has he had a a, a surgery. Yes, and it took him about six months to recover. So it, they 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 take it very hard. I don't know why. Mm. So sometimes football, well, so football is, I think, a contact sport, so it could be dangerous. Yeah, it, de it, it depends on the, the authority and it depends how can you do the, 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 the exercise, or how can you do to play soccer too. Yes. Because it, when, when you are, when, when you was, or when you, when you see a, a a fighting or something like that, maybe you leave the the the, the match or, or leave them the, the fight. And yes, okay. Why? What is a hobby? I think a hobby is an activity that makes you feel relaxed, uh, enjoy time, enjoy things. And, and and you enjoy it itself. It's something that you like to do. Yes. Uh, yes, it's true. It's something to to like to do. And you you have a a, a this drag or or or, or I don't know, to distract to distracting doing that. Yes. And you, Robert? Mm, for me, a hobby is something that helps you to relax yourself and as well to focus on different type of activities or that as usual helps you to improve, to improve yourself or improve all other type of abilities that you have okay. That's true. That's true. Okay. Why do people need hobbies? I think at these times, it's the hobbies are so needed because we are so stressed about the world, about the environment, and everything that you need um, a way to relax, a way to escape from your reality for a little time and to to enjoy your life. Yes. To distract, to relax, to to share opinion or share uh, ideas.
Robert? Yeah, I think the same. Okay. Next one. one what can one do as a hobby? I think there is a lot of things that you can do as a hobby. I, I say for myself, I read, I exercise, but also I like to, uh, to do crochet. Mm -hmm. I like, but I don't have enough time. <laughs> yes, yes. And uh, anything like um, hand. So next question. Um, uh, yeah. Does your hobby influence your choice of friends? Hmm. Maybe I think that could be, for example, with serious. Um, I can say with my friends, hey, I, I recommend you this Syria or this song or something like that. And if my friend like it too, mm -hmm. uh, that could be a kind of influence, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Or next well, question. Yeah. Well, with respect to this, what I do think is that, well, with most of your friends, you share things you like, uh, uh, different type of topics that you can go ahead and talk about. So sometimes, yes, the, the type of hobby that, or the things that you like to do influence on the choice that you have, on your friend's choice, or in the parameters that, that, that you use in order to select your friends. Yes. Because it helps you to start to talk with different people, to meet new people, and it's easier on that way. That That's what I think so about it. That's what I do think about it, so. Yeah. So let's go ahead with the next question, okay? Okay, next question. Can a hobby save a child from bad peer influence? Well, I think that yes, because like the teacher said previously, and for example, in if you read a book, uh, or search more information about a good topic that could help in your life, in your career. Uh, it's a good influence. Mm, but in this case, I think that it depends because in order for a hobby to become a hobby, you will have to find something that it's just like appropriate for your child and as well that creates interest on, on him. Because if you, as an example, if you go ahead and take him to violin classes and he hates violins or he hates everything related to music and he prefers to dance, yeah, that is not going to be just like a good influence for him because he's, he's doing something that he hates that isn't going to be able to become a, a hobby. So what I think so is that you will have to try to find as well something that can like to the to your child in order to allow him to create that space that can that can become stressed Reliefing or that can help. To, to, to paint a, a, a stadium or, or a field 
to play soccer, <laughs> or for example, when you avoid a, a, a interesting book. I you also can beta. Yes. Okay. Beta. Mm -hmm. In a stadium. For Blanca. Oh, really? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Me too. I, I spend, I used to spend a lot of money in books, but I have a lot of books right now that I, and I don't have enough time to read of all of them. Where do you um, buy your books? I, La I, Seba. No. <laughs> excuse me? La Seba. No. The International? International Books. Tamborns. Ah, okay. Yes. La Seba is very expensive. Yes, very expensive. Yes. And for, and the, the Sanborns uh, usually have um, promotions, I don't know, offers, I don't know, have outlets mm -hmm. that they... Demands to have a, a little a little space to, to, to books. But it's too little and doesn't have uh, enough or good books, I think. Sanborns have a lot of good, has a lot of good books and sometimes they put it in free for two. Uh, so it's a, a, a good a good time for buy. I had a lot of books of that kind. And uh -huh. people know that I like to read and um, they give them to me like a gift in my birthday special. Uh, okay, interesting. <laughs> yes. But yes, I I I feel like an uh, like an alcoholic, but bookaholic because I sometimes I I bought books and I um, hid them from my husband because I didn't want him to know that I was spending so much money in books. <laughs> and one time when I had traveled to another place. And he began to um, clean in the northern. He found them. <laughs> and when I come came back, he told me, "You are spending a lot of money in books. You don't have to buy more books." <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Okay. But yes, I have a lot of books that I hadn't read. It's, true. it's about 10 books that I have that I have to read yet. Yes. Mm. And you, Robert? Well, I spend money on the test for the certification that I, I that I have to, to get in order to just like become someone that can really certify to talk that language appropriately mm -hmm. that, that can understand the language. Okay. And as well, I, I have sometimes to try to find the books for the preparation of post tests since uh, those type of tests are not easy. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry I was watching. China. It's. Does your hobby influence your choice of friends? I think I, for me, it doesn't matter. But if I find someone who like to read uh, the way I do, I prefer to go with a person. But it's not a limitation if you don't like to read. My best friend doesn't like to read. She hates to read. But really? I love yes, yes. And I you, you always uh, talking about the books. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. uh, when she says something, oh, in that book it said that, and she goes, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> but, yes. It's a little bit complicated. <laughs> yes, it's complicated, but but she's a very good person. I love her. I love her. So it's it's like 
Okay, in, in my case, it doesn't matter like two, but uh, when you share a hobby or when you, shy, when you share uh, some ideas, it's more easy to, to, to explain and, and to talk about it. Yes. But uh, it doesn't matter to, to, to have friends or, or, to, or to talk with someone. Yes. Well, in my case, I think that sometimes it, it, it makes uh, an influence since it, your hobbies help you to just like break the ice easier with people that share the same type of hobbies that you and help you to become friends, to, to become friends there easier than with someone that doesn't share any type of interest with you. That's what I think about. Yes. Okay. Can a hobby save a child from bad peer influence? I think yes. Because when you, for example, practice a, a, a exercise or practice some, some sport, you you spend your time in that and you don't have you don't have enough time to, to do something but okay. I think yes I, I think if you introduce the in in this case uh, of reading you can give a child a child a good book about how to to behave in some situations and another kind of hobbies like uh, sports karate or other kind of football even that can help the child to first in karate or march march art march. martial arts martial arts yes martial arts to protect himself Mm -hmm. or herself and um, to manage the situations or in soccer to play uh, as a team to, mm -hmm. to uh, develop team conceptions yes so, uh, and I think it the hobbies are good to to teach the children to protect themselves for the peer uh, menace. Well, regarding to this, I think that it depends of, of the hobby because if you try to just like force a child to acquire a hobby and it's something that they don't like to do, uh, they're not going to take it to take it as a hobby that that is not going to help them to leave their stress out or to just relax their minds they will take it as an obligation so you will have to as well try to find something that likes them in order to to get good peers and let them get away from 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 those bad peers so sometimes it's just just like a kind of difficult decision Okay. Introduce them in a type of, uh, of, of a specific hobby for them. But yes, that, that can help them. Yes. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Hey. Sorry, teacher. I have some problems with my computer and my internet. I don't know. But. Okay. All right, guys, uh, we're finished. Uh, we're going to go ahead and stop right here. Uh, please stay in the WhatsApp groups so that we can be uh, sending you guys the information about the next course. All right, guys, mm -hmm. take care mm -hmm. and we'll still be Thank in you touch. Thank you very much, teacher. Thank you. And you can write me if you have any questions. Mm -hmm.